Hello there, I am Christoph and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I built this beautiful adjustable bed swing. Since I don't have any wood long enough, I am splicing two beams together. You want the length of the splice to be at least four times the thickness of the material. For all mortise and tenon joints, I am using a 3D printed guide for my router. So all holes turn out exactly the same. So the theory goes. I have fucked up <laughs> I have fucked up the location of these holes so I guess I will glue them back in and drill new holes These two long oak pieces will be the backrest. This will be a leather frame. These old boards are cracked or have knots in them, so you can't use them for any structural application. But for these short cross sections here, they are perfect. I know, I know, this setup is far from optimal and due to the cutting pressure the bar will bow inwards. In the end I clamped a much shorter section. These metal dowels will engage in two different places on the armrest and will provide two sitting positions. One for normal couch like sitting and the other position is to get access to the whole mattress. This block has a hole drilled through on the drill press and acts as a straight drilling guide. On the backrest glue up I made some spacer blocks which go in between each upright. stupid or something.
I made some pointed metal dowels to mark the position where I have to drill. Unfortunately, I wasn't smart enough to run the drill bit in the right direction, so the holes didn't line up. After some ugly slotting bit in the cordless drill action, the holes were loose enough to wiggle it in. The construction part of the porch swing is basically done. Now it gets disassembled, uh, glued together, painted and then I will hang it up. I know what you're thinking, this weak ass weld won't hold anything, but it's just there to hold the ring nut in place, so calm down. <laughs> 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 